Yes, I am the greatest detective in the world. And yes, I can just solve a crime just by a crack in the wall. Yes, that's how talented I am. Look at me! Look at me! Look at my mustache! Look at it! Love it! I was really looking forward to this movie, mainly because that first trailer, I just love that mystery feel it gave to it. The second trailer I wasn't a huge fan of, but that first trailer, I really enjoyed. It just grabbed me from the very beginning, and I was definitely going to see this movie. But does it live up to that? Well, let's find out. So believe it or not, the murder on the Orient Express actually takes place on the Orient Express. However, the train gets trapped by an avalanche, and there's a murder that occurs on the train. So... Luckily enough, we have the world's greatest detective over here, played by Kenneth Branagh. I don't remember his actual name in the movie, but I don't know if that really matters. However, he's got to figure this one out, so... It's a whodunit. Who could have killed this man? Was it you? Was it you? Hmm. So many suspects? Oh, who could it be? I don't know. Oh... I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh. So Kenneth Broadden did a rather good job at being her detective. And then there were some suspects that were rather interesting to listen to. Then there were some that were just like, yeah, I don't really find you all that interesting at all. And then there was also this one guy where I was just like, man, that seemed really staged. Like, really? And yes, I'm talking about you, my friend. So this movie starts out with a case in Jerusalem. I just really didn't care for that part of the movie. It just felt rather pointless. And I... I honestly just wish it wasn't in the movie. Yes, I would like an introduction to our lead character, but it really didn't work for me. I'd rather them just start off with them getting on the train. It's just, yeah. The main reason why I didn't like this opening sequence is just because I felt like they made our protagonist just too good at his job. Like, he was able to solve an entire crime just from a crack in the wall. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I that's just a little too good for me. I just can't get on board with that. Granted, they do tone him down when it gets to the murder on the Orient Express because it is a harder case, but that opening sequence, I just really didn't care for it. And then there's this person that hands him this telegram like soon after that scene, and he's just like, no, I don't need to read that. I already know what it says. I'm just like, like, how? Like, I get it, you're a great detective and all, but how are you able to do all this just with your simple human brain? But even though he was toned down during the train stuff, I had a little bit of troubles following him, just figuring out where he'd get all these different clues, and I'm just like, okay, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure how you figured that one out. And it's just a little bit of confusion there. However, I was interested enough in this movie to keep me guessing. I'm just like, maybe you're the killer. Maybe you're the killer. I really don't know, and so it does succeed on that aspect. Then the ending, I found rather satisfying. At first, I was kind of like, eh, I, I don't know, but then as they explained it more, and the more I thought about it, I'm just like, I really like this ending. It came with a twist I wasn't really expecting. And so the ending does make some of the parts of the movie a little bit better, and I'm just like, overall, yeah, okay, I'm cool with it. Just about the entire time this movie was going, I was thinking, you got to be the killer. This guy's got to be the killer. And then they reveal some facts, and I'm just like, yeah, that doesn't really make sense, but you still got to be the killer. Nonetheless, I was wrong. So I'm going to give Murder on the Orient Express a 6 out of 9. It would be worth seeing at matinee ticket price. So I just got back from Murder on the Orient Express, and I was really looking forward to this movie. It's mainly because of that first trailer that came out. I was just like, Whew. I really like how simple this trailer was. It just really gave a good mystery feel to it. However... The movie wasn't as good as I was hoping it to be, but the ending is what makes the movie. It was rather satisfying, and I wasn't really thinking it was going to be all that satisfying, but then there was a little bit of a twist in it that I wasn't quite expecting. So overall, I think it's good, but it does lack in some aspects. So thank you all very much for watching this, and if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. And remember, no movie is a perfect 10 out of 10. God bless you all.